The Array of Things project is a network of sensor nodes that will be installed throughout the city of Chicago. This is a made in Chicagoland device. The city really is the governance partner in this project. The University of Chicago is our operational and research partner, and Argonne Labs took the lead on building this innovative box that's going to collect all the data. Argonne built this platform. We call it Waggle. Waggle is a wireless sensor platform for marrying low power sensors and CPUs to sort of revolutionize how we do sensing in the environment. The Array of Things project is built on the Waggle platform, modified for deployment in an urban environment, going up on traffic signal lights. The bending of the metal, the injection molding, the assembly of these devices, even the fabrication of circuits that we designed, all happened in the Chicago area. So this is an Array of Things node, and it has all of these computing parts packed into this metal box here. And then what this is, is where all the sensors live. This board, the Waggle Manager that manages uh, resilience, is built by a company uh, in the suburbs here called Surya. The same is true for this whole package. So there's a company nearby called PDT, and PDT worked to design this Stevenson Shield. Our goal is to enable the kind of science that we need to understand cities in a way that preserves privacy. The way that we've designed these nodes to protect privacy is that we do the image processing within the device itself. What gets transmitted from the device is not the image, we'll be discarding those, but rather the information we extract from that image, the flow of pedestrians from east to west or north to south, or the number of vehicles in the scene, or whether there is standing water at the intersection. We really want to make sure that we're respecting the privacy concerns that residents have. So we very carefully with you know, inputs from experts in the field drafted a privacy policy. We published those in draft form. And we invited the general public, not just in Chicago, but internationally, to comment on those policies, to give us feedback. In addition to the online public comment, we've held a series of public gatherings at Chicago Public Library locations. It's where residents could come out and ask questions and learn about the project and the policies itself. They began as conversations about privacy. When we explained our privacy policy and they could see our intent, the conversation quickly expanded into what value these devices might add to residents in their neighborhoods. How that data would be valuable to residents in the city and even companies here in the city. It was really a first step in that relationship that we're building with the public and how we'll use this data to bring value to Chicago.